Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. As you can see, we're playing some Kindred Jungle. I should be here to show you guys how to do some 1v9ing today. Uh, it's been a little while since I've uploaded videos consistently. My apologies for that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've said this before, but I do hope to be um, more consistent with the videos. I've just been streaming a lot lately and coaching a lot, so that's pretty much the explanation to the videos um, dropping down. But yeah. Hopefully getting fixed. So what am I looking at this game and thinking about straight away? Um, I don't really know what my top laner does that well yet. So kind of not that interested in going to that lane, but could still be good. I don't know. I kind of want to do something with this bot lane matchup. I think that my bot lane can do a lot here, especially if I get them ahead. I also think they can get snowballed on hard if they get behind. Mid lane should be pretty chill. And I'm thinking my top laner loses this matchup. So I'm going to start red buff pretty standard on Kindred. I might go red into his Grump invade, depending on how good this leash is. I don't actually recommend you guys get leashes these days, guys, but in lower ranks, it still seems that like, your laners want to leash every lane. And um, yeah, pardon me, the laners want to leash every game and also that the enemy laners leash every game. So it doesn't really change anything. If you're playing a jungler that is extremely fast, I would strongly recommend that you ping your laners off leashing. Oh, that's terrible. So enemy bot didn't leash. I'm actually going to go down and gank them straight away. Level 2 gank. I think this will work. I think enemy bot lane will hit level 2 here, all in my bot lane, and I'll be there to stop the uh, engage. Yep. Ah. Hit him! Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, pretty sloppy gank all around. I would have preferred that we used our spells on the pike. Wait, yeah. What is uh, going on here with these guys? I'll be muting this guy. I'll be basically as soon as I can. I'm gonna go do this and then I'm going to be looking for the reset. Ah, oh, never mind. These guys didn't reset. Yeah, it's actually really annoying. Beautiful. Alright, mute that. Um, as for itemization, this game, I like on hit. Oh, we're also playing on the patch where Kindred has been um, nerfed, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't think the nerfs are too impactful. I mean, obviously they are impactful, but I don't think they make or break the champion. I think she is notably weaker, though. Um, I think both builds are still probably equally as viable. I've not played the crit build, though, on this patch yet, so I don't want to comment on that too much. But yeah. We're going to run straight to this crab. Unlikely that we actually get it. Action time's a little bit slow. I really want to get this gank off. As long as we get the slow, should be chill. Oh, that'll do it. Try and ping that guy to go down bot. Don't actually really want to do the crab yet. Nice. The reason I don't want to do the crab is because my mark will spawn on crab or raptors, and I prefer it to spawn on the crab. Um, but either way, I'm contesting both of them. Obviously, pretty much impossible to communicate to your lowering teammates, though, so you kind of just um, you have to take it however it comes and just adapt. But you see there, you know, he's pinging it, but I'm not getting distracted by him. Nice. Alright, there's this guy. As you can see, relatively typical low elo response to the mark. I have uh, four people roaming to a topside mark. Level five. So, to me, quite amusing. It is what it is, though. 
something you have to be prepared for at all times, ladies and gentlemen. And if you are prepared and thinking about it, it's uh, generally speaking actually better for you and your team. Obviously, you cannot die for those marks. Uh... Yeah. A champion. Champion is definitely not going to be broken, guys. Are oh, you kidding me? Might die here, actually. Nice. None of the minions have autos on me. That's pretty fortunate. Boom. Cannon. Waves frozen. I go straight to this mark. Volley is bought. Uh, that guy didn't actually ignite me. He ignited the... Whatever my top laner is called. Do you see the volley mid here? This feels pretty sketchy, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I think I can do it. Still holding the smart charge. It's okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> not have any ward? No, we don't. It's, uh... Pretty close to a tragedy. Nice, there's my mark on the red. We're gonna be going straight through that. I'm gonna start pinging it. I actually probably should have just, um, skipped this grub, in all honesty, and run straight here. Oh, we're using our spells? Yeah, you stay in the bush, bro. Yo! This much pinging. Alan here, right? No? Interesting, where is that guy? This top. Nice. Looks like we should be able to get a little cheeky kill here. Should be dead. There we go. Should be another kill here. Alright. I'm actually recalling here because I'm hoping to bait him into me. You're kidding. Oh. Uh. Oh, wait. Can I still catch him? Ah! Well played, I guess. My bad. That's played by the noobs. Alright, buying items here, and we're gonna be running bot side, getting our bot side camps. Enemy jungler might be bot side. I don't see him there. We have Mark on the mid, so it's kind of good if we can proc that. I should be careful here. Keep trying to ping this so he doesn't die to the gank. Beautiful. There we go. Put the mark. Next mark's gonna spawn on his blue, which we're also gonna go straight to. Beautiful, let's put the mark on Pike. Not going to smite hit because I want to just auto attack as much as possible for health. Alright, plenty of wards going on. Looking like the uh Quadra Kill if right. I was about to say if Ash doesn't steal it.
All right, let's get the reset off. Try full sport. Game is looking beautiful. An ally has been slain. All right, where's Mark gonna go? It's going to go on Dragon. We're gonna take Red, jump over the wall, do Dragon, get the Mark, keep the snowball going. Um, chat is not on. We're gonna quickly also plug the uh, coaching here, ladies and gentlemen. If you're interested in coaching, you can check out the coaching at coachmarga.com. Would highly recommend joining my coaching program if you're someone who is serious about climbing, especially if you're watching all my videos. Um, it's just much more information than I can ever fit into the videos. I do want to do this dragon, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just uh, trying to play it a little bit slow because we have zero prior at the moment. Anyway, let's wrap over here. I should be able to get this now. Oh, hello. I mean, I'm not concerned at all about the uh, crab, so I'm just letting him take it. I'm dealing damage to him, not smiting it or anything like that. Oh, get that. That'll do it. Killing spree. All right, we've got uh, Void Grubs spawning here. I'm actually going to wrap around a little bit deep so that I can maybe go gank mid. Nice, we'll play to this poppy. This guy's fucking smurfing it. I'm actually going to go straight here. Looks like Pike went down onto the ash. Probably kills her. Yeah. All right, let's go to Void Grub slash enemy top laner. Sorry, enemy jungler's red part of me. And yeah, this game should probably get FF fifteen. A little bit of plug there. Move the mark over to volley. As you can see, guys, this game has turned into a complete 1v9 stomp, but this is not surprising. I say this relatively often. If you are doing a really good job in your role in your lane, you will just, in general, make your teammates play better, especially if you're jungle. If you're the jungle that you will, and you're playing well, you'll make all of your teammates gap their lanes more often than not. Now, obviously, that might not happen every single game. You're still going to have games where you have just complete potato teammates, but... You know, when you extrapolate out over 100 games, that kind of stuff, then you're going to see a very noticeable difference. Okay, we're going to quickly do this, and then we're going to get our camps, and then we'll play for the next skirmish after this reset. Yeah, we haven't done anything, you know, super crazy um, in terms of mechanics this game, I don't think. I think all of this is pretty um, replicable for most people watching. I'll say that probably the hardest part of what I've done this game um, for you guys at home to replicate is just like information processing. So like gathering the information from the lanes, processing that information to get ganks and skirmishes off, that kind of stuff. Yeah, level seven, what are you doing? I don't even know what the fuck my player does there. Do you have any CC on this guy? I think you do, right? Yeah. Bad times. I got my mark. All right, that's plates dropping. I'm gonna quickly base. I tier two boots here plus Triforce. I am liking. I like any boots here. Um, kind of down for this. In all honesty, Mark Treads are also fine here, but I just think that most of their CC is pretty avoidable. This guy really, uh, really entered. I think he got tilted. Probably maybe got tilted best in this new champ. Who knows? My mark should spawn on this any moment. Oh, very nice. Let's see if I can kill. Oh, let's go here, actually. Nice. There's the FF, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty much as expected. Now, I will show you guys the runes here at the end of the video. 
And again, guys, if you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. If you would like more improvement, you can check out the coaching at coachmarga.com. You can also join my Patreon. I upload some random things there. Um, and if you want to support this channel, again, like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, I do my best to answer them all. Um, let's plug the coaching here. This was about a silver game where uh, I can't really say what we're doing here, but um, you know, if someone uses their critical thinking, they can probably figure out what's going on here. These are the runes that we took this game. That's going to be it for today, guys. Until next time, take care. Good luck on the rift. Peace out.